Hey you guys, so today I am going to be, it's really echoing in here. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of chatty get ready with me and I'm going to be testing out a lot of new products as well that I haven't gotten my chance to dip my fingers into yet. So yeah, let's jump into keep my hair situation going. Dope. So I'm going to be doing my brows with um, soap. I had done this and I had done it on Periscope and I showed you guys uh, what it looked like on Snapchat as well. Um, but basically, um, if you guys don't follow them, you should. Pixie Woo on YouTube, um, Sam and Nick Chapman. Uh, they do really awesome makeup tutorials. They also are the founders of Real Techniques. Um, but anyways, I saw them at BeautyCon and Sam had um, the most amazing brows and I was like, what? is this? What do you do? And she was like, man, soap brows. And I watched her video. She has a video up, I think it's called like Hollywood Brows. Um, so go watch it if you haven't for a more like in-depth version of this. Um, but basically I'm just taking soap, like a little bar of soap on um, a spoolie that's wet. And I'm just going to brush that through my brows first. Um, but I had watched the video and the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, her brows look so good. But like, I just don't think, like, I just basically didn't know why it would be any better than like using a clear brow gel or whatever but then I tried it and I believed um, so anyways you basically just brush your brows straight up with that soap on the spoolie and they recommend to get a clear base soap um, rather than one that's like white just so that it won't leave kind of like a white rim around I have tried it with both kinds because I was in a um, hotel the first time I tried it and all they had was like white base soap um, but it worked fine for me it did look a little bit ashy but um, yeah I would just go with what they recommend because they they know best so basically what I do is I just brush my brows straight up and then I just kind of press them down and it keeps them in place all day it's cheaper obviously than buying um, like a brow gel if you don't want to spend the money on that and then I'm gonna take my dip brow on just a little brush and this is the new Smith 203 brush. It's like a super super tiny little baby angle brush and it's so bomb for like brows and liner. Obviously you guys know I'm already obsessed with Smith brushes so I'm a little biased. Anyways I'm just gonna take that uh, and I'm going to just really lightly feather in some brow hairs and I just want to get my little spoolie there so I can make sure to blend that out. Holy crap, there's been so much drama happening on Twitter. It's been a blast to watch. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I feel like you're a liar if you don't like watching drama from afar. It's the most fun thing in the world. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just basically sketching in my brow hairs and not making it too full and crazy. This is just like a much more natural kind of looking brow if you guys are into that. Okay, so next I'm just gonna go ahead and dip right into eyes. Um, I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance palette. When I had done my last tutorial with this, a lot of you guys had requested for me to do one with more of the red tones, but I felt like that's what people would be um, doing right out the gate, so I wanted to wait a little bit and do it later. Um, so I'm just gonna be taking Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. I'm just kind of dipping my brush back and forth between the two of them. And I'm just taking my Smith 232 brush and blending that right into the crease. Um, I was going to do a first impressions on some foundations that I've got in sleep, but I didn't like any of them, so now I'm not. <laughs> um, also, it's kind of, it's always funny because I go back and forth between using self tanner and then I'll have just like days or weeks where like I just don't basically have time to keep up with doing self tanner, so um, I go back to being super pale, so it's always hilarious whenever um, companies send me foundation because it's like they try to time it with like my skin tone at that moment so like sometimes I get like sent super super pale foundation and then other times I get sent like really really dark foundation because they're like we don't know <laughs> also for those of you that don't know obviously the space looks a little different I've moved um so I am in my new place it was like a fucking nightmare when I was moving out here um I'm gonna be dipping into red ochre right there um it just was, I, I was doing a lot of stuff right around the same time that I was moving and so um, obviously like that was already fairly hectic in and of itself but then um, the 15th was the day that I was moving and basically I was leaving, um, I had booked the movers for the 15th and I also had to book a time slot in the elevator for my new place 
and you can only book for two hours. And um, <laughs> basically, the day that I was supposed to move, um, my movers just didn't come. <laughs> um, and so I was just waiting around and waiting around and waiting around and no one came and I called um, the actual mover and he didn't pick up and then I called the moving company and I was like, hey, um, you know, like, kind of ready to move and stuff. <laughs> um, and she was just like, we'll get there when we get there. And I was like, okay, well, that doesn't really work for me. Um, I'm sure that everyone else really appreciates that, but uh, yeah, perhaps I'm a little more of a high maintenance customer, uh, as I would like you guys to be here at the time you guys said you were going to be here. So anyways, they didn't show up. Um, so I ended up getting another moving company, um, thank God, and it was all very last minute. And then I had to move the next day, but it doesn't matter. I'm in now. It's all good. Um, Dominique came up and helped me move, which was really, really nice. And so now we're like pretty much done. Um, a lot of my furniture is coming on Thursday and it's Tuesday right now. Um, and so some of my furniture will be coming on Thursday and then some of it's coming in August. So that's all right. Um, I'm just taking a little, what is this, Zoeva 231 brush, and I'm just basically making a halo shape here. So I'm just putting a little bit on the inner corner, making sure to stay right off that inner corner because I don't want to bring it too far down. I just don't think it's very flattering on me. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do an apartment tour and stuff, um, and I have shown you guys kind of like the bare bones of the apartment um, on Periscope for those of you guys that watch me there. Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do an apartment tour or not. Um, I, I like the idea of it and it always sounds great, but I just feel like it's such a like, ooh, personal thing. It's such a like personal and private thing. It just makes me feel a little, little weird. Um, obviously like being on social media, I'm able to determine what it is that I want to show you guys, you know? And so like, that's just like, I don't know, that's just a weird thing. Anyway, um, I'm gonna grab that same little Zoeva brush and I'm going to dip into red ochre again. Do I wanna do this? Yeah, I do, okay. And I'm just gonna bring that under the lower lash line. Oh yeah, I had to change my insurance on my car. I mean, that's not particularly interesting. Oh yeah, I've screwed up my car like a million times. If you, have, if you don't watch me on Snapchat, um, I, there was like one week where I, <laughs> like messed my car up so bad. Um, the first day, <laughs> uh, I was driving, I was, I was downtown for meetings um, and I had just turned on my car. I had left one meeting and I was heading to the other but I was like stopping it through like a drive-through. Um, and I turned on my car, I had driven it for like literally a minute and pulled into the drive-through and um, when I was in the drive-thru, this yellow light came on and it said that my engine was too hot and it was like drive moderately to cool down. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to drive through, so I'm going to be driving pretty moderately. Um, should be fine. So that light went from yellow to red immediately. Just really quick, I'm going to be taking this color element here from the new Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. This isn't my favorite, but I am going to try and make it work. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm just going to quickly spritz my um, brush with a little bit of this plus. And then I'm just rubbing that right into the shadow. Hopefully these can be used with. Um, but anyways, that light turned from yellow to red. And then um, the red light said, engine too hot, turn off car immediately. <laughs> I was like... I'm in a drive through so I just kept kind of like turning off my car and then every time I would have to like inch forward I would turn it back on um, and that's just what I had to do and then basically the way that this drive through is set up um, it was like the worst possible drive through I could be in because there's no exit into a parking lot at the end of the drive through you just exit right back onto the highway and so um, I had to exit back onto the highway and 
there was in the lane that was closest to me that I normally would have just been able to pull over. There was like a bunch of parked cars, so I couldn't pull over there. So I had to like pull into the main actual traffic. But when that red light is on my engine, I can't go faster than 10 kilometers an hour, which is like school zone speed. Um, so everyone was like, I, I turned on my hazard lights, but everyone was like honking at me and looking into my car angrily. And I was just like, oh my God, this is horrible. Like, why is everyone being so mean? Like, I obviously have my hazard lights on. I'm not trying to like slow down traffic. It was just horrible. And I was like, just so flustered and so frustrated. I was just trying to pull over my car as fast as I could. So I just like pulled over into this tiny little spot and there was like a cement meridian. And I like scraped my front bumper so bad. It was the worst. Um, so that happened, and then the next day, I'm just packing on that same color. Um, it was like maybe two days after that, I was pulling out in a parking lot and um, somebody just backed into my car. <laughs> so that was great, and they were yelling at me and screaming at me, I was like, this is the worst, I'm having the worst luck. Um, I think I'm gonna try and dip into Spectre right here, although I'm not sure if I'm gonna regret this or not, we'll see. And I'm just gonna place that like literally right down the center, I'm gonna turn my brush. Oh, that didn't do much, all right. That's all right. I think I'm just gonna add like a little bit more depth on the um, bottom there. So I'm gonna be grabbing this Cypress Umber right here. And I got these little brushes. So we just went to IMAT's on um, Vancouver. We went in like super last minute. That's why like, I didn't have any meet and greets or anything. Not that I think we're, I don't think we're allowed to do that anymore anyways. But anyways, I went to IMAT's in Vancouver um, like super last minute and I grabbed brushes from Hakuhodo, which are stunning. Um, and then I also grabbed brushes from um, London Brush Company, they're called. And I'm like hard to please, okay? I, I'm very, like I'm not one to try new brushes. I don't like picking up new brushes. I don't trust new brushes. Um, I just, I don't know, it's just weird. So I'm just, I'm, I'm wary, but I'm trying them out and I'm seeing how they go. I tried to pick up some brushes that I wouldn't normally get or that I think like aren't normally like my style. Um, so I picked up three different brushes from um, London Brush Company. They're quite expensive, um, so I'll let you guys know my thoughts on those if you are interested. And then um, I picked up like nine brushes from Hakuhodo, also quite expensive. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna know my thoughts on any of those things, just let me know. And um, I'm thinking about doing a um, an updated like favorite brush video because uh, I have a lot of new favorite brushes and I just think that it's something that doesn't get talked about enough, but it should because brushes make the world go round. I am going to be traveling a bunch throughout the month of August, like end of July and like August is gonna be really busy, um, which is like fun, but also kind of sucks because I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna just wanting to be settled into my place and I'm like not gonna like get to enjoy it until like September, but that's okay. It'll make it that much more fun. So I'm just gonna quickly grab um temp. I was gonna say tempura, like like tempura prawns. Tempura, it's called. I'm just gonna grab that, and I'm just gonna quickly pop that into the inner corner. I'm just gonna be popping on my lashes, and I'm grabbing um their reel from Velour. I just bought some of these at um. I'm at as well because I forgot how much I love them. Um, they're so nice. So I picked up a couple pairs of these. I really like them because they're shorter, um, but they're still quite full. So I think that they're really nice if you are somebody that likes to wear mascara with your false lashes, which I do, um, because I can. I feel like they're just almost like the perfect exact length as my natural lashes. So I can just like really work in mascara there, and they look like less over the top, but still really like full and pretty. Oh gosh, sometimes I like bend down when I have my extensions in and then my eyelashes get caught in my hair, it's so gross. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these lashes on. And I just like to stick them right to the center first and then go ahead and pop on that outer corner and then the inner corner. So I just like to let those dry completely before I go ahead and apply mascara. So usually I'll put on my lashes first and then I'll put mascara on the bottom lashes and then by that time usually it's good to go into the top lash. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I actually don't mind those moon dust shadows when it's all said and done. I feel like when I swatched them I was like initially, there's a hair on my lips, right? 
feel like I was initially pretty disappointed because I saw the swatches of them um, that people were posting as like teasers and I was like, oh my god, those look unreal. And then when I actually swatched them, I was like, oh, these are quite patchy and they're very like um, chunky glitter that kind of like sits on top of the skin instead of like going into it nicely. Um, but they apply nicely when the brush is wet, so if you're gonna go ahead and pick it up because you like kind of like those like glittery like shimmery shadows, I would definitely recommend using them wet over dry. Um, dry they are quite messy, wet they, they're nice. I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, my highlight and I'm gonna be using the Sun Dipped Glow Kit in, I'm gonna be using Summer right there. I'm just gonna grab my little Samir Kazami brush. It sucks because I do like these brushes, like I use them quite often, but the heads always fall off. Um, which is ridiculous because they're super expensive. I just super glued it back on. So if you're ever having that problem with brushes, you shouldn't, but if you ever do, then super glue them. Um, so I'm just grabbing that color Summer, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right to my cheekbones. Uh, I know you guys are probably dying to see the Anastasia um, Moon Child Glow Kit, and I will do a look with it. I wanna do like a more kind of like fun, less neutrally look with it. Um, I'm sure somebody will get a video before I do. <laughs> But uh, I will I will get a video with it up, so don't worry if you guys are looking forward to that. So L'Oreal, um, when they send out, they basically like send you a list of the stuff that is coming out over the next month, and then you can decide kind of like what you're interested in. And one of the things was the Giorgio Armani. Um, it's called the Sepia Highlighting and Contouring Face Palette, and so I was like, oh, and that'll be so sick. Like I was picturing this like actual palette. This is what it is. <laughs> And so I'm super confused by this because I don't know how you could both highlight and contour with it unless you had like an incredibly petite brush um, to get into that contour color. But what I'm thinking might be nice is um, if I like blend them all together because I did try it on my finger and I was like, oh, that might be kind of like a nice like subtle contour. So I'm going to try that and just like blend it all together and see how it looks. Um, and then I'm going to be using this new Hakuhoda brush. I haven't used it yet. It's like the softest thing in the planet. So I'm going to grab that. Um, this is the Hakuhoda. B5521. Um, so I'm just kind of like mixing it all together on there. Oh, actually, I have a little. That actually is nice. That's like a really, really pretty, like subtle contour. I know people aren't really into subtle contour these days, but including myself. But that's really pretty, actually. I mean, my hand keeps wanting to go back in. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to grab is the um, Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush Champagne Splits in Amaretto. Um, and so it has Prosecco Pop on the other side. Um, I didn't actually get the face palette for some reason. I think it just like got sent back because I wasn't there to pick it up. But um, I, I did try Prosecco Pop. I feel like it's too yellow on me. Um, it might be nice on like deeper skin tones. So let me know if you've tried it or if you find a way to use it that um, you really like. But I am going to try that blush and see how that goes. I'm just using it on a tiny little brush. I'm just going to apply it lightly. I'm trying to always like look for things that are kind of like in the warm soul tone of things, tone of things because I do just miss and love warm soul what it used to be. I'm going to try this color here. It's one of the new Tartus Lip Paints um, in choker and they sent it out in like the cutest PR package ever. It was like this like 90s themed like Lisa Frank um, kind of like toolbox thing. It was like plastic um, and they had like snap bracelets in it and this choker and um, just like candy from the 90s and stuff like that. It was so funny and butterfly clips um, and it was so funny because like I saw this in there and I was like oh my god it just reminded me of my childhood. I used to, I had so many of these and I would always wear them, like I would wear them to bed, in the shower, like I would literally never take them off. I just, I don't know why. And then I remember like one day I was like, I'm gonna stop wearing chokers. Like I'm gonna like go out on a limb here, I'm gonna like change up my look when I was like eight. And um, I decided I was gonna stop wearing chokers and like I took it off and I was like, oh my God, like my neck is so long and gross. Like I just thought it was like the weirdest thing to not wear chokers. It was really funny when I first saw this. Maybe this is like the start of a new era. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try apply this one. It's um, called Choker and I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. So there you go, you guys. That is everything. Thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for your patience. I know I haven't been getting very much content up anywhere um, while well, the smooth has been going on, but I'm going to try and change that. I say that at the end of every video. One day I will. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think and let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Peace out.